why didn't school tell us that neurons are a lot like Legos? I mean, we have a hundred billion of these things in our skull and no one ever presented neurons as these things that make up our brain that we can connect together and build incredible things out of. Things like memory, understanding, being adaptive, super duper problem solving skills. None of that. No, they pointed to a brain and these goofy parts with Latin names like corpus callosum and thalamus and medulla oblongata. Hey, something wrong with his medulla oblongata. <laughs> How would your world change if you could build a better brain as easy as it is building cool things out of Legos? In much the same way that Lego blocks snap together, neurons are combined in your brain, get together and, and form these giant learning neural networks that we know as memories. They can combine to make circuits that allow us to see, hear, and move. They can also be combined and you can control how neurons snap together to do things like learn and remember things. This all sounds great, you're probably thinking. Neurons are like Legos. You mean like clicking together and building stuff I want to? A few moments later. That's cool, but how do I do it? You are halfway there just by asking that question. Why? Because now neurons in your skull are getting together and putting together a little network around the thought of neurons are like Legos? That starts your brain doing all kinds of crazy things relating to Legos and how you can learn new things by snapping neurons together. When you hear somebody saying they learned this skill or I didn't know that, which means they really just learned that, you'll be thinking, those neurons are just slapping together now. Then you're really going to want to learn how to do it because when you get the habit of snapping neurons together to build memories and presenting your communication so that others pick up on what you're doing, it's addicting, my friend. And that's not just dopamine talking. That's people like Gartner Incorporating saying that critical thinking skills, cognitive thinking, that is the most valuable skill of the future. You want some of that. Being brain-centric develops intelligence, not artificial intelligence. It's kind of funny that intelligence is the ability of a system to learn, adapt, and solve problems in a way that's analogous to the brain. Well, a system now exists. It's your brain. It's your choice. You have never been taught to think. Only told to think. Think about that.